Hi, I'm Liko. I'm with the Greater Pensacola Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here with Connie, Nancy, and Adrian with the Clinton Cox House. Connie is the CEO and founder of Pathways for Change, and these two lovely ladies uh, run the Clinton Cox House. Is that what I understand? All right, fantastic. So let's jump right in and um, just talk about a little bit of history of the three of you. And um, Connie, we'll start with you with Pathways for Change and how it all began. We decided in 2017 that it was time to serve women. It's, it was in our business plan and this uh, Clinton Cox residence, we had the opportunity to serve women and we said, who, what population do we wanna serve in women? So I went throughout the state looking at different programs, what, even went to Nashville to see you know, a, uh, a program at, uh, called Thistle Farms. And really it was just conversations with local people. What do you want to see in your community? What are the needs for the homeless? And it kept going over and over and over. Our female veterans, you know, we're losing 22 veterans a day to suicide. Mm -hmm. And there are not enough facilities for homeless, but certainly not uh, for veterans. Right. Had a conversation with the Blue Angel Foundation who said, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we need. Mm. You know, if you could come up with a program that we could replicate, we're all in to support you. So this is going into the second year of the Blue Angel Foundation supporting our work. Um, Baptist Hospital gave us this land. Uh, we were just awarded a VA grant. So we are all in to serve our women veterans. Okay. And on to you, Nancy. Well, I'm the director here. and. We're a clinical treatment program, so we're a little different than uh, just a regular homeless shelter. This isn't a place women just come to crash. It's a place where they come to transition to be able to go from homelessness back into a community as productive and content citizens living a healthy life, both emotionally and physically. So they live in a structured environment. Uh, they receive counseling. They receive case management services. We advocate for them if they need help with VA benefits, and we have a variety of classes to help them uh, get through their days and to get them to a point where they're able to be out there on their own again. Now, how, do you, how did you actually get involved with the Clinton Cox House? I was asked to teach a class here a couple of years ago and I had received my master's degree in counseling and human development, but had never done my internship. So I thought, oh, well, I can teach a class and do the internship. But then I started working, so I still haven't done the internship, but I started <laughs> working and I'm, uh, I'm here and I'm, I'm in on doing this to help these women. Amazing. So that's what happens with volunteer opportunities with yeah. Pathways for Change. You just never know. So we're always looking for good, strong volunteers. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And Adrian, how, how did you get involved? Well, it was kind of a God thing. Um, the timing and everything was perfect. Um, and I was going through my own life changes and the, the, the position for house manager was just, it was just the right fit and it's where my heart is. And then um, I was looking at doing a, another career alongside house manager, um, but Pathways for Change, uh, Connie and the staff created a new position to allow me to work with them full time, which is where, where my heart is. So I'm really, it's just an honor to be a part of it. Yeah, amazing. So now, now that you, you have told us some history of why or kind of how that happened for you to come on board through volunteerism and, the, and then also through the job position opening. Uh, what are the needs that are being met through the Clinton Cox House? Like why, why does this even exist? They can speak to the day to day. Uh, for me as an administrator and, and watching the program unfold to make sure clinically things are evolving as they should, you know, I'm finding, you know, the women are more complicated and compromised uh, when they arrive to us. That post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, you hear it so often, but I don't think we, as citizens walking around, really mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. how immobilizing and terrifying, you know, your life can become. So, you know, that is why it's an individualized program. Um, everybody comes with their strengths and, you know, with areas of opportunity that we can develop. Right, so. right. Um, what are some of the statistics that, that you all um, know from working with this daily that, um, that really kind of screams out, hey, this is a need? 
I'd say that many of our women come from uh, families of origin where there have been situations that have been difficult for them. They often go into the military at a young age to mm. escape that. Right. And then end up perhaps in a combat zone, military sexual trauma occurs, different things like that. So, um, you know, I always say that everybody has a story. But here, the opportunity is to write the end of the story that you want. And that's what we do. We help them write the end of their story. We can't change what happened, but we can certainly use what happened in the past to make it more powerful hmm. and to let them understand that that's their strength, even in your weakness and what's happened to you. Wow. That's, I mean, that's powerful. What would lead them here? And then what are some of the effects that you've seen from being within the program? I think that one of the things is, is that we're a fairly new program and uh, you don't fix people. You don't do that. You help people. Right. And it doesn't happen quickly. So we're still in that process. But we have had women who come here. Sometimes they're referred through the VA. Right. Sometimes they just hear about us. Uh, they might have uh, had traumatic brain injury in combat situations, different things like that. And they come here and they learn how to deal with that situation. And we have some that have gone out. They have their own homes now. They're out there living in the community. Uh, some of them still come back and get counseling stay in touch with us and things like that. So we get to see that. We also see on a day-to-day -day basis uh, when the woman comes in who might be totally isolated in her room until mm. she starts coming out more, right. she's talking more, and we encourage them. This isn't easy. I always say it's like the wilderness, and the wilderness is not an easy place to live. Mm. And so this is the wilderness. Take advantage of it because when you come out of the wilderness, you're in the promised land. The thing, a couple stories that are so significant to me that early on, there was this beautiful young woman uh, in her early 30s living on Highway 29 in a pup tent. And everything that she had had been stolen except for the things that she had buried the night before. So that's when she finally said, you know what, I'm going to listen to what the VA on 98 has been telling me about this Clinton Cox residence. I'm just going to go there. And right. She came in and, you know, we just fell in love with her, you know, and she wrestled with her, um, you know, with her clinical issues and, you know, didn't want to change, didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to accept. And she did. She made a lot of progress. But at the end of the day, she, you know, her people were calling her back. And you right, know, that's right, hard for us. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But the story after story where, you know, a woman looks okay on the outside she's working full time but she's living in her car you know that's what we have We're, you know she's keeping a job but she's so depressed and so um, stuck you know that yeah, she yeah. can't get to that you know no support uh -huh. and so that's our role is to say we love you you know you woman who served our country you know we want to do for you what God always intended for you, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Like Nancy talks about rewriting that story, you know? I mean, these women should never have had a lot of the things that happened to them as children. Certainly not in our United States military, um, but it has. And so what are we gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. Yeah, in the Clinton Cox residence, what's the average stay? It's gonna be about a year. Mm -hmm. About a year? Yeah. So this is a commitment on both parts. It's on. A, a, there's definitely a commitment on your part, mm -hmm. and a commitment on their part too. What are some of the greatest challenges that you all see in this? Getting them in and telling them right oh, at the right. beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, don't come just thinking you're going to crash. This isn't a place just to sleep. This is a place to learn and grow. So I think that's one of the hardest things is getting getting them from day one to understand. You have to commit. Go to classes. Go to counseling. Go to case right, management. Right. Right. And this is not just one of those things to where you're going, you're coming here to stay out of the cold because it's a cold mm -hmm. snap. This is, this is a, a plan to change your life yeah. uh, or get it back. And to, you have to invest. Uh, they have to invest in themselves. Mm -hmm. And that means getting outside your comfort zone too. We mm -hmm. all do that. Mm -hmm. I think one of the more beautiful things about this place is that, right, one of the more difficult things for the, the ladies to overcome is the hopelessness because a lot of the the situations are really heartbreaking and difficult, mm -hmm. but they they might come in feeling like nobody understands and there is no hope, there's no way out, but then they come in this therapeutic community and find that, 
you know, you see those moments where they are like in unity together as sisters or battle buddies and they do understand each other and they can get through this, you know, with mm -hmm. you know, right. each other's help. Right. I understand that there is a special event coming up specifically for the Clinton Cox residents and um, Connie, uh, would you like to go ahead and talk about uh, what that event is? Uh, March 6th, it's a Wednesday evening at 5.30 at Perfect Plain Brewing Company and amazing cuisine from Restaurant Iron. Chef Alex will be mm -hmm. on site. Um, the Blue Angel Foundation will is supporting us in that event and they are going to have eight or nine Blue Angels at the event. They're coming from all over the country. Uh, we are selling sponsorships from 10000 to 5000 to 2500 to 1000 uh, We have limited seats to 86 uh, so it'll be a very intimate beautiful affair um, and we've got 20 seats left so we're hoping to sell out again this year and you know make some new memories you're gonna see a video of a beautiful woman who uh, was a veteran resident here and she tells her story uh, and then you'll have another veteran uh, live there in uh, on site. You'll get to meet Mike Campbell, the Blue Angel Foundation president, and then I'll give a little history. So it's going to be very moving and very fun and great experience. All right, great. So thank you very much. Is there anything else that you want to add that maybe I didn't ask? Always uh, Pathways for Change. We want to bring in people that, you know, may not, you're living a a normal life out there but you, you just there's something that you know you need to be doing and right. that's volunteering at yeah. pathways for uh -huh. change mm -hmm. that's either with our men's residential treatment program as a tutor or a sponsor um, that's here with our women just come teach them how to bake a cake or do some yard work with them and then our family center down the street we're really opening that up to female veterans some concentrated programming closed to just female veterans at the family center so uh, answer a phone, rock a baby while the mom's in the home health aid <laughs> class, you know. So there's opportunity for you to put your fingerprint on the Pathways for Change organization. Amazing. All right. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Uh, appreciate it uh, for just sharing um, not only your own personal journey on how you got involved, but also um, the purpose and the reason why the Clinton Cox residence is so important um, to our community and to the individuals who are involved in it. Um, it definitely sounds like another great organization that if someone is looking to volunteer with someone, then this is one of those places to be so much that you come volunteer and then all of a sudden you find yourself how many years later? <laughs> yeah. Still here working. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, yeah, thank you very much. And, um, and so we're really looking forward to uh, the dinner event with the Blue Angels and thanks to the Blue Angels Foundation for, for helping with that. And what was the date one more time? March 6th. Wednesday evening at 5.30 at Perfect Plain Brewing Company on Garden Street. And the best way to find out information for Pathways for Change in the Clinton, Clock, Clinton Cox residence. Right. Call the Family Center where my office is, 850-637-1429. We'll get you a seat at the table. All right. Thank you.